Do you want me to turn you so you're looking outwards? Yes, please. Yes, please. How about there? First time we came out with B, Jade said it feels like I've been released from prison. Do you want these, missus? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> right. Yeah. And she could say hello to everybody, people she hadn't seen for months. It's Jade. Oh, it's Jade. Oh. So you can talk to Jade through this. Hi, Katie. She's there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Every time anyone's seen her, they want to know why she's there. And it's kind of the opposite of when you're in a wheelchair and people see you and they kind of go, oh, um, should I look? I don't know. I don't know what the right protocol is. When there's a tiny robot with its bright little eyes going around just looking happy everywhere, um, it really opens you up for conversation. You've got some friends here, look. Hiya. When I saw her for the first time, I remember thinking, this is going to change things. This is one of those points where if this was a book, this would be the cliffhanger. I have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, which means that I have a lot of dislocations, there's a lot of pain um, and a lot of seizures and whatnot. So I can end up um, on my own in my room uh, for long periods of time. Uh, yeah, my love. A lot of the time um, with a condition like my own, of course there's the pain. And the pain is bad, and the dislocations are bad, and the seizures and being in paralysis and never knowing whether you're going to be able to wake up properly tomorrow, that's bad. But what's worse still is being able to count the number of people you see a day on one hand. Are you ready? Sure am, I'm just hoping the connection's going to stay. Yeah, me too. All right, here we go. When you're used to just the same little metre by metre and a half window every day and you've been there for months, being able to just see the sky from somewhere else or the tops of trees or a sign is incredible. Or being able to have that kind of chat in the car that most people will probably take for granted. I'm going to go past Grandma and Grandad so you can give them a wave. Now, if Jade is particularly seizure she um, can still take part. Um, and that's brilliant, really, because before she would just be left um, in, in a bed or in the house with just a carers. It's quite a small world, that. Right, so there's one of her. Uh, here, this, this costume I'm busy making at the moment. When I'm not on bed rest and I'm not just um, wearing pyjamas all the time, um, I enjoy uh, being able to dress as different characters and go to comic cons and that kind of thing. Um, because it just lets me show a different side of myself um, and it's a, it's a bit of fun. If you can't go out that often, you've got to enjoy it when you do. <laughs> Was that? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> it's one of those weird things where I want to not have to use B because I want to be well enough to be able to go to those places myself. Like It really makes a big difference to me to be able to go into school. But the thing is with my condition fluctuating all of the time, I can't go into school reliably. <laughs> I've been in school via B um, and so far it's interesting, still a few little things that we need to work out but for the most part I think it's going fairly well um, and it's brilliant because I can really tell the difference between today and yesterday um, how yesterday I forced myself to go into school when I wasn't very well and I was really tired afterwards and ended up having loads of seizures whereas today I've been able to do all of the work, I've been able to keep a clear head and not be ill, which means I'm able to be more focused on my schoolwork. 
So there is my first step of working, is to simplify root 8. The algebra test is next week. Now I'm trying to make friendships which I'll be able to maintain with B. Before that, I end up letting people down quite often. B gives me hope, yeah. She's just always there. And if I can't do something, she can. And if I need sort of assistance to be able to make commitments, then she's there and she means that I feel like a more valuable person because I'm more reliable.